The vision was clearly written for all on board to see and run with it. It all started like Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible. It appeared to some like a project aimed at building an edifice in the air. On the other side, it was clear, achievable, precise, and above all, a project ordained of God. The various stages of the AGC project, Kristen leaves you with the conclusion that it can only be God. The AGC project is a product of God's power bestowed upon men who pay attention to the slightest details. The stages of evolution of the project speaks volumes. Amazing Grace Court on Mali is nothing short of architectural ingenuity. It was specially constructed to meet the occupant's utmost need for tight security, comfort, class statement, serenity, and more. It is a seven-unit of luxury three-bedroom duplex with an attached boys quarter. It is a smart home with great features which makes living so seamless. To crown its aesthetic power, each unit is adorned with a master bedroom penthouse. The Amazing Grace Courts of Mole Phase 1 of Agedingi in Ikeja. Um, it's, it's something that looks like a mirage, like something that will never happen. Now, it, it's, it's more like um, the story of, um, I mean, saying that, um, um, I mean, um, everyone was going to come down. And, um, I mean, everybody was saying, I mean, is that, is that possible? You know, can this happen? You know, I mean, uh, the, the Tower of Babel was to be built and they said they were going to reach the sky. And somebody was saying it was not possible, it was not possible. And before you knew it, it was going up until God came down with his host to come and scatter the language. So that's the story of the Amazing Grace Courts. It was like, will it be possible? Can it happen? How much do we have? Can this come to see the light of the day? But we can see, and indeed I can sing that song, that come and see what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. I can summarize all of these into 13 years and one month of hard work, of service, even to God and to humanity. Now, having gone to, to learn real estate from my, 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 uh, my superior and from my coach um, in person of uh, Mr. Adeshokwe Adeyinka Israel, I mean, now Dr. Adeyinka, now I can say that, I mean, it looked like it was slow for me. I haven't left him, I haven't gotten his blessings. I mean, was celebrated and, and was gifted. Just like a, a, a master will release his, his servants. I was released and I was blessed. Now, having gone into a partnership business, now, I, the speed of the movement was not the pace I so desired to see, humanly speaking. But that was the route God wanted me to go for me to get to where he was taking me to. It looked as if I was not going to get there. It looked as if, how can this thing be? I mean, so many things on my mind that was crying for expression, but I couldn't see how those, some of those things could happen. Now, but I can tell you, when God came to the scene, He crashed 13 years and one month into one year for me. Now, I can say the bath of Dio Clinton's Realtors Limited, I mean, is phenomenal, and it can only be by the grace of God. Thank God for the gift of men, because this wouldn't have happened if I was alone. He gave me the gift of men. He specifically gave me prayer points to pray to achieve this dream, making it to come to a reality. When it was time to leave my former employment, he told me it was time. He gave us the name of the company and he registered the company by himself. He raised people every time people were needed to be raised to make it happen. Now, when this project was to come and it was to be signed, it took me about two weeks and the man in charge of the project was telling me I needed to see this. I told him I was praying about it. He said, just come and see it. On seeing the project, there were so many challenges that were staring us in the face. So a lot of people were on ground on the, on the land who had taken possession physically and they were not willing to move anywhere. But by the intervention of Jehovah, and the mysteries that I have been introduced to in the Liberation Commission, that's Winner's Chapel, 
I went to take sand from Kenna land. I took the anointing oil. I took the blood of sprinkling. I began to sprinkle everywhere. I was commanding everyone to begin to leave the site. Now, it didn't look ordinary. It didn't look like what was going to happen. Ordinarily, it didn't look like what was going to happen. But I tell you, over the time, in weeks, speaking in the midnight unto my maker, because I knew that if only I can go back on my knees again, then I know I can wear the crown again. So I went back to him and it began to happen. People began to leave the, the, the project side. People began to move. Even the car that didn't have a tire on it, they went to rent tire to move it out of the premises. And everything was happening. And God took over the place for us. And speed and favor, he began to raise helpers of destiny. I mean, today we can see what the Lord has done. This project was dedicated September 23rd, 2021. I mean, a little delay in, in mobilizing to side due to the, the, the papers from the government, but fully movement to side from January 1st, 2022. And this is a year and some weeks after. God has done it. Not just a house, but a smart home. Not just a smart home, a beautiful mini estate. Not just a beautiful mini estate. That's a place you can call a home. That you can have a 100% appreciation within months, within weeks. That you can even go back to bed and say, you know something? For one night, I can earn as much as 150,000 naira. That is not just a location. It is a smart location for a smart investor, for a fantastic investor. What are you talking about? God is the only one that can do this. No one lost their sleep over this project. That is God at work. He said, He that keepeth Israel will neither sleep nor slumber. Indeed, we have to go to sleep so that he can be awake. And indeed, it pays to rely on him. Amazing Grace Court, it's indeed an amazement to us. Amali Estate is one of the most strategic locations in Lagos. It is a point linking all other points. From here, you can comfortably link the island, the other inward parts of Lagos, the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, and more. Most importantly, it is in proximity to both the local and international airports. And interestingly, it is right behind Lagos State's seat of power, Alausa Imikeja. Can you beat that at Dill Clinchers Root Horse Limited? Location, rapid value appreciation, security, comfort, and class are our focal points in making real estate choices for you.